And staying with the race for the White House, Vice President Kamala Harris sat down for an interview with conservative-leaning Fox News for the first time on Wednesday. The interaction was mostly heated as the Vice President and Fox News anchor Brett Baer clashed over immigration, gender transition, Joe Biden's presidency, and former President Donald Trump. Kamala Harris showed sympathy for American women murdered by undocumented migrants and, re and remained diplomatic on gender-affirming care for inmates. The Vice President expanded on comments she made last week when she said she would not have done anything different from President Biden during his four years in office. The Democratic presidential nominee clarified that she would in fact bring fresh ideas to the table as she represents a new generation of leadership. While the host talked over her answers repeatedly, Kamala Harris slammed her rival Donald Trump's threat of using the military against his political adversaries. After the interview, Donald Trump took to social media to call Kamala Harris totally incompetent. Now, just before the interview, Kamala Harris spoke at a rally in Pennsylvania where she appealed to Republican voters who are not satisfied with Donald Trump's campaign. And now, the baton is in our hands. So I am joined today by over 100 Republican leaders from across Pennsylvania and across our country who are supporting my candidacy for President of the United States. And I am deeply honored to have their support. The Vice President called Donald Trump's behavior anti-democratic and said it goes against the American Constitution. Now, I say all that to make an obvious point. In a typical election year, <laughs> You all being here with me <laughs> might be a bit surprising, dare I say, unusual. But not in this election. Not in this election. Because at stake in this race are the democratic ideals that our founders and generations of Americans before us have fought for. At stake in this election is the Constitution of the United States, it very self. We are here today because we share a core belief that we must put country before party. Poll averages by the New York Times show a neck and neck battle between the two presidential hopefuls with Kamala Harris leading Donald Trump in five out of the seven swing states. Meanwhile, a YouGov poll suggests Kamala Harris holds a four-point percentage lead over Donald Trump nationally. And both candidates are trying to energize their respective bases with just 19 days to go as the race for the White House turns into a nail-biter. First Post decodes the U.S. election, explains how America chooses its president, your primer on the race to the White House, Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained, every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.